Hey now out there in Walter Latham TV land. Um, listen, first off, before we get started um, on today's episode of uh, Notes from the GED section, I really want to thank you for really uh, your support uh, of this channel. I think uh, Walter is uh, working on putting a channel together uh, with Walter Latham Presents that is, I think, uh, diverse and I think cutting edge and uh, I think a lot of you are getting it, and we certainly appreciate it. Appreciate all the positive comments that you are uh, that you're making, and, and 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 just the encouraging things you do. And that's that's kind of rare when you're doing anything that's kind of new and has a lot of kinks in it. So I want to really make sure that I that I give you a sincere, heartfelt thanks. I thank you, and I'm sure as as Walter does, and as 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 do other people who are involved in the channel. And I really personally want to thank you all for for your support. The book is doing. Really well. I want you to shut the fuck up. The, how the audacity of dopes is uh, ruining America is doing really well. It's going to a second printing. Um, we're really excited about it. Um, and also, personally, you guys, uh, you know, uh, watching us on, on on real time. This weekend we were real time. Last Friday we were on real time with Bill Maher, uh, one of my favorite shows to do. Not on, not just because you can cuss, but I think that because it's a kind of a format that. Has been around for a long time. People are more familiar with it. And they're more for more comfortable, and I think a lot more honest. So, and it's a format I really, really enjoy, and I enjoy that you all uh, support it so much, and we, and I, I certainly appreciate that also. And um, so this is uh, uh, another episode of uh, notes from the GED section. Uh, today would be the first day of the Republican National Convention, which, uh, uh, if you don't know, has been postponed because of Tropical Storm Isaac. Uh, so some people would call uh, this uh, a tropical storm. Uh, I think is Mother Earth crying <laughs> because all the people that are seeking to kill her are gathered in one place. Um, so I think it's Mother Nature crying. Um, the Republican National Convention is, is very funny. I know that Condoleezza Rice and Herman Cain and uh, 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 are going to be very, very tired this weekend because they have to be in every single shot. So because they're going to be diversity for the uh, GOP, they have to prove how diverse they are. They're going to probably tr uh, change their clothes and make them look different, but I'm sure and pose them in different positions like Mr. Potato Heads. But they're going to have to be in every shot because this party is, what, 85 percent white. Um, it's, it's funny to watch. Uh, what is happening down there because the Republicans have decided the two big items on their platform are a smaller government and their stance on reaffirming their stance on abortion. So they want smaller government uh, and to reaffirm their commitment and stance on a right to life, uh, which, you know, basically is a woman's, they, they, they're pro-life. They, uh, they are going to make, they want to make government smaller. They want to reaffirm, uh, as if they hadn't done a good job affirming of how fervent they are about this issue, uh, their commitment to being pro-life. So I think they actually want to shrink the government so small that it actually fits in a woman's vagina. Um, so this will be an interesting week, and it'll be full of people um, trying to convince us that what has gone on, you know, basically for the last... Uh, eight years for you know eight 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 of the last twelve years uh, that I think and most will admit caused us to be in what is the worst economic crisis of our time is the way to go back to like so those who don't learn from history are destined to repeat it so they're saying that the way to get out of this mess was actually what led us into it which seems uh, which seems like madness to me um, so and also if the Republican agenda was so great. And I think so compelling, then they wouldn't have to do the things that they do to try to get people to buy into it. Uh, they wouldn't have to cheat. Like 26 states have introduced legislation that will make it harder to vote. Uh, and and uh, harder to vote. Uh, they're going to cut the days, uh, early days that you can vote. Because, you know, traditionally poor and black uh, minorities, older people vote early um, for any number of reasons. Um, and also they're going to require ID. Now, the requirement for ID is not, uh, although an obvious attempt uh, to try to minimize the black vote or the poor vote or the elderly vote. Uh, I think very clearly it is an effort to do that. It also uh, shouldn't be that big of a detriment. And I understand 
that getting an ID is hard, uh, particularly challenging for people who are older or people who don't drive. You know, I come from California. Everybody has a driver's license. On the East Coast and a lot of these other cities, uh, you know, people don't drive as much. They have public transportation or they're older. And I understand those. And I, I certainly don't want to appear like I'm insensitive to that. But what we're faced with is the idea that we would let a piece of paper stop us from voting, which was, is a direct insult to the people who, look, look at the people who had to get us the right to vote. They had to be hosed. They had to be beaten. Many times they were killed. They were uh, poll taxes. They were tested. They had to go through. It was hard for them to vote. They would look at us and be pissed off if we decided that because somebody made it a little more difficult for us to vote, that we wouldn't do it. 